Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Before entering new customers into your company file, you should ensure that you have the customer defaults set as desired to prevent having to enter repetitive data values into each new customer record that you create. You can access the default customer settings within the customer defaults window by selecting maintain and then default information and then customers from the menu bar. The customer defaults window is where you set the values that you wish to appear by default for new customers as you create them in Sage 50. Setting the most frequently assigned customer options here means that you won't typically have to enter as much data as would otherwise be needed when you create a new customer record in the future. In the customer defaults window, you can click the terms and credit tab to set what will be considered the standard terms for customer payments. Remember that you are setting the default values here, so you want to set the most common terms assigned to new customers so that you won't have to change them for each customer record created in the future. You must also set the general ledger account number that's used for customer discounts. You can then set the discount percentages as needed. You can set a default credit limit that will apply to all customers and you can use the credit status drop-down to choose how Sage 50 will handle transactions that place the customer over their credit limit by default. On the account aging tab you can set the default aging brackets for customer invoices. The custom fields tab allows you to create up to five additional data storage fields which you can use to assist you in tracking custom customer data. You define the field names within this window and then fill in the actual values when you create the new customer record in the future. On the Finance Charges tab, you can set the default parameters under which you apply finance charges to customers. Finance charges are calculated by multiplying the number of days past due by the daily finance charge rate, then by the outstanding invoice amount. The Pay Methods tab allows you to enter up to 10 methods of payment that your company accepts. These methods of payment should be entered from top to bottom, starting with the most frequently used. When you have finished setting your customer defaults, click the OK button to set your customer defaults. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www dot teachucomp.com forward slash free